Schizophrenia is a severe brain disorder in which people interpret reality abnormally. Schizophrenia may result in some combination of hallucinations, delusions, and extremely disordered thinking and behavior. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you for your love and support. Contrary to popular belief, schizophrenia isn't a split personality or multiple personality. The word, schizophrenia, does mean, split mind, but it refers to a disruption of the usual balance of emotions and thinking. Schizophrenia is a chronic condition, requiring lifelong treatment. Symptoms in men, schizophrenia symptoms typically start in the early to mid-twenties. In women, symptoms typically begin in the late twenties. It's uncommon for children to be diagnosed with schizophrenia and rare for those older than 45. Schizophrenia involves a range of problems with thinking, cognitive, behavior or emotions. Signs and symptoms may vary, but they reflect an impaired ability to function. Symptoms may include Delusions These are false beliefs that are not based in reality. For example, you're being harmed or harassed, certain gestures or comments are directed at you, you have exceptional ability or fame, another person is in love with you, a major catastrophe is about to occur, or your body is not functioning properly. Delusions occur in as many as 4 out of 5 people with schizophrenia. Hallucinations. These usually involve seeing or hearing things that don't exist. Yet for the person with schizophrenia, they have the full force and impact of a normal experience. Hallucinations can be in any of the senses, but hearing voices is the most common hallucination. Disorganized thinking, speech. Disorganized thinking is inferred from disorganized speech. Effective communication can be impaired, and answers to questions may be partially or completely unrelated. Rarely, speech may include putting together meaningless words that can't be understood, sometimes known as word salad. Extremely disorganized or abnormal motor behavior. This may show in a number of ways, ranging from childlike silliness to unpredictable agitation. Behavior is not focused on a goal, which makes it hard to perform tasks. Abnormal motor behavior can include resistance to instructions, inappropriate and bizarre posture, a complete lack of response, or useless and excessive movement. Negative symptoms. This refers to reduced ability or lack of ability to function normally. For example, the person appears to lack emotion, such as not making eye contact, not changing facial expressions, speaking without inflection or monotone, or not adding hand or head movements that normally provide the emotional emphasis in speech. Also, the person may have a reduced ability to plan or carry out activities, such as decreased talking and neglect of personal hygiene, or have a loss of interest in everyday activities, social withdrawal or a lack of ability to experience pleasure. It's not known what causes schizophrenia, but researchers believe that a combination of genetics and environment contributes to development of the disorder. Problems with certain naturally occurring brain chemicals, including neurotransmitters called dopamine and glutamate, also may contribute to schizophrenia. Neuroimaging studies show differences in the brain structure and central nervous system of people with schizophrenia. While researchers aren't certain about the significance of these changes, they support evidence that schizophrenia is a brain disease. To be diagnosed with schizophrenia, a person must meet the criteria in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders DSM. This manual, published by the American Psychiatric Association, is used by mental health providers to diagnose mental conditions. Diagnosis of schizophrenia involves ruling out other mental health disorders and determining that symptoms aren't due to substance abuse, medication or a medical condition. In addition, a person must have at least two of the following symptoms most of the time during a one-month period, with some level of disturbance being present over six months. Delusions hallucinations disorganized speech indicating disorganized thinking extremely disorganized behavior catatonic behavior which can ranges from a coma like days to bizarre hyperactive behavior negative symptoms which relate to reduced ability or lack of ability to function normally coping with a mental disorder as serious as schizophrenia can be challenging both for the person with the condition and for friends and family here are some ways to cope learn about schizophrenia Education about the condition can help motivate the person with the disease to stick to the treatment plan. 
Education can help friends and family understand the condition and be more compassionate with the person who has it. Join a support group. Support groups for people with schizophrenia can help them reach out to others facing similar challenges. Support groups may also help family and friends cope. Stay focused on goals. Managing schizophrenia is an ongoing process. Keeping treatment goals in mind can help the person with schizophrenia stay motivated. Help your loved one remember to take responsibility for managing the illness and working toward goals. Learn relaxation and stress management. The person with schizophrenia and loved ones may benefit from stress reduction techniques such as meditation, yoga or tai chi. Thank you very much.